Afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for uh, uh, Thursday's trading session, the 15th of June 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signals, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, let's see exactly where we stand. The Asian markets certainly subdued, but not as much as the European markets are this morning. The uh, Hang Seng certainly under pressure overnight. The Shanghai certainly booking the trend, holding its uh, position. The Nikkei only down 50 points uh, until obviously we have this uh, on uh, uh, on mass sell off in the uh, European session uh, that we're currently witnessing at present. Okay, so let's see exactly uh, what happened and let's go for the chronological events uh, of what's happened over the last 24 hours. First of all, we had Mr. Trump's WAPO story or WAPO story, Washington Post story of. Uh, him being uh, certainly uh, under investigation for obstruction of justice, and therefore, obviously, that sent the uh, U.S. equities spiraling down. Then we had a uh, obviously we had Miss Yellen as well with regards to a hawkish stance, uh, certainly surprising the market, causing the dollar certainly to appreciate in quite substantially. Okay, now then we had this morning in terms of economic data wise, uh, we the major market moving event really was the uh, well has been the. Uh, Weaker retail sales from uh, the uh, UK this morning, followed by the weaker European trade balance. And then subsequently followed by the shock announcement from the BOE uh, with three potential um, BOE members arguing for a rate hike, which again, very similar to the uh, the actual Federal Reserve. So you have Saunders, McCafferty and Forbes, although Forbes is due to leave very soon. Three individuals certainly arguing for a rate hike, which again is risk negative and therefore hurts the uh, equity markets. And that's exactly what's uh, ensued. Now, if you look at the actual FTSE 100 chart, let's just bring this up for you. You can see that we've certainly dived. The daily chart now is coming into a previous resistance equal support. So it certainly is coming into support, which is a historical pivot low uh, as well around the 7380 zone. So again, that certainly is coming into support. So again, that was certainly another factor at play in terms of uh, obviously triggering risk aversion. Okay, now we are looking, currently awaiting the uh, US data now, Empire State, initial jobless claims, import prices. Uh, we have uh, industrial production as well. So again, certainly all eyes on that in terms of the next potential move there. Okay, so uh, certainly Mr. Trump's uh, situation or his scenario, although he has tweeted saying that it's a joke and it's a farce, uh, given the fact that they've failed to get any evidence with regards to collusion and now they want to go for obstruction of justice. So he's certainly dismissing that. And so far, the previous accusation hasn't held and this looks like it won't stick either. Uh, the other factor as well is uh, Miss Yellen obviously talking up uh, the uh, dollar. Uh, stating that uh, she'll be ready to uh, certainly go ahead with tapering, although the economic data doesn't justify it at all. So again, that certainly is another confusing uh, conundrum altogether as well. Okay, so dollar is currently is into uh, resistance now. If I just bring up the US dollar chart here, okay, so US dollar certainly coming into resistance and therefore looking for weakness in the dollar. Okay, so watch the Aussie and the uh, the Kiwi certainly start to move higher. That's the what I currently expect. Okay, now let's look at the actual uh, technical picture then for the German DAX. German DAX has been absolutely clobbered today. Currently into uh, 60 minutes support now, certainly looking for a potential bounce here. Daily chart as well, certainly after yesterday's new high, and then we reverse uh, as sharp as today. Very, very puzzling, okay? 60 minute chart, like I said, is in support, and therefore you are looking for a bounce. 10 minute chart certainly hits uh, or approaches that pivot S3, and therefore one would certainly argue for a bounce here. In terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you here as well. Daily chart, the French CAC at the moment approaching that previous support equals resistance at 5130. So watch out for that zone. Okay, uh, now whether or not we can recover here should be interesting on the French CAC. And now given the fact that we have the Euro USD at the 1.16 level on the back of Miss Yellen talking up the dollar, uh, that should certainly be helping European equities. But given the weakness in oil as well, certainly has failed to do so. Oil uh, at the moment currently... Uh, languishing at that 44 level okay so certainly looking for that to hold 10 minute chart on the french cac again certainly seems oversold to me certainly looking for a potential bounce here as well so we have some type of channel forming okay so looking for this channel to break and then obviously push higher towards that gap fill region above in terms of the euro stocks let's just look at the euro stocks and see exactly where we stand 
Okie dokie. So the euro stocks in the daily chart first and foremost, certainly into previous resistance equal support. So we're looking for a bounce here. 60 minute chart certainly seems like overextended now. Any retrace up to 3530, uh, any retrace up to uh, uh, 3540, certainly in a zone that you need to watch out for in terms of the next potential move. 10 minute chart for euro stocks from my perspective certainly seems overextended, looks exhausted and looks like it wants to start to move potentially north so keep an eye on that okay so that's the status quo with regards to the euro stock so certainly looking for a potential bounce okay so i think that's a good summation really of uh, european equities from my perspective especially the FTSE 100 certainly due for a bounce along with the german dax certainly due for a bounce and the selling certainly uh, has been over all the bearish news certainly has been factored in a weaker sterling a week well sorry a weaker euro certainly will help european equities from my interpretation hasn't thus far due to the ongoing concerns with regards to the fed obviously tightening and uh, mr trump's so-called obstruction of justice claim i think those though both those factors certainly will subside especially given the fact that the uh, s p now is coming into uh, key support around the 24 20 level and we are now looking for a potential bounce in this region Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Take advantage of that bonus and be sure to visit uh, TradeSignal and download the latest app. Goodbye now.